It is an complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 4 lighting. Okay. Now we want to light our scene. So before we start lighting, you need to set the camera view. It's really important. So first of all, you want to split the view because I want two views. So to control of my perspective view and then we want camera view for render. So click spacebar in keyboard. So that means you got four views. So I will click and drag over here. So that means you got only two views. Here you need to set camera view. Here I, I already have perspective view. Click on create cam. So go to panels perspective and choose camera one. So on alt and drag to move your camera. So see our camera will be set over here. Press R and scale. Big. So I want to zoom in little bit. See here our object will not visible clearly. Go to shading and choose wireframe on shader. So now you got the transparent material looks very real. So before that I want to zoom in little bit. So when the camera selected, see here our texture will not shown here. Press 6 in keyboard. So that means you able to see the texture for our chips object. So go to view camera settings and choose overscan and go to view camera settings and choose resolution gain. So in default we have 960 into 540. It's too high for our uh, basic rendering. So go to render settings in common tab. You want to choose 640 into 480. So after we complete render, after we complete uh, our lighting you will set as HD. So when you start lighting you want to set 640 into 480. Okay, so now go to, so I will zoom in little bit like this. So I will play it's fine or not. So I will start lighting in 120th frame because I want to see lighting on my chips objects also. So I will go my 120th frame. So now I want to lock my uh, camera view, go to view and choose select cam. So select the all camera attributes right click and choose lock selector so now i want to select this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w and move up so because i want to create infinite background look so i will move this edge back select this edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so i decrease my fraction amount and increase the segment so I want to scale even big, press R and scale big. So and then scale in X like this. So I want to scale even big. So now I want to make my environment. So go to polygons, click on poly sphere and press R and scale big. So go to front view, press 4, so otherwise go to perspective. So now you want to apply surface shader for the sphere. So you want to cover the whole uh, model using the sphere. So you want to scale big. So now I want to apply surface shader for this material, sorry this object. Right click and choose assign new material and choose surface shader so I want to rename this surface shader as bg underscore surface shader 01 like this now click on this out color checker box go to 2d texture so I will go to 2d texture go to file and filter type to off click on this image name and click on the HDRI map so we already copied in texture a texture section so if you miss this one you want to download the texture file the link below in this description box download that and copy that file 
and paste in your source images it's really important for lighting so click on this one and click open so press 6 in keyboard to see the uh, texture over here or sphere so now we want to start lighting so before that you want to set the render view as mental ray go to render settings choose render using as mental ray sometimes it will not visible here so that means go to window settings preference and choose plugin manager and choose Maya to MR plugin so scroll down and you want to check load and auto load so now it's available in your render using you definitely want to choose mental ray and then in common tab you want to uncheck the enable default light option so because I want to uh, make a light manually so I want to uncheck this one so in quality tab here you want to check this show advanced settings so it's really important and go to trace depth so you want to give reflection to 5 refraction to 5 maximum trace depth to 10 so that means you want to sum these two values so and then I will close this one so now I select this viewport and click render so see here now I didn't have any light in my scene so now you want to set the area light for ambient occlusion so go to rendering click on this area light so you want to scale big like this and then you want to move up and move in Z so you want to you definitely want to uh, make the area light to facing the arrow in this direction in Z direction so it's really important so click on this light shader so go to area light shape 1 so you want to expand the mental ray tab go to bottom side scroll down go to custom shader click on this light shader checker box and here you want to choose in mental ray so M I B so that means mental ray so you want to give M I B ambient occlusion so you want to search here in mental ray tab so here I have mental ray ambient occlusion so M I B ambient occlusion so here you want to give samples to 64 and maximum distance to 5 like this so I will select this viewport open my viewport keep this image for comparison and click render again ok see here now we got overall lighting for our scene it's really cool but we have one problem over here so the material so the glass material should not looks very real so we want to fix it so select the bowl and go to bowl blend option so you want to expand the ray tracing option enable this refraction so and give refractive index to 1.2 and press enter so I will keep this image for comparison select this viewport and click render ok so now you see the glass material it's when we turn on ray refraction so it will look so real so as real glass so now it's very really cool but I want to adjust to my um, glass material color so here you want to give in bold blend option so you want to give color to zero so like this full black so in transparency so you will add little bit of blue color so I will select blue so don't choose pure blue so you want choose very mild blue over here so very mild blue so I will keep this image for comparison and then render again ok now it's really nice see here it will turns into little bit blue color so now we want to uh, set our render layers and render settings for our 
final render pass so in next part click here to learn part 5 rendering